everyone this video today is for the brows so I kind of changed how I do my brows since my first brow video and I actually used some couple of techniques I would say this is kind of my lazy technique not really but it is in a sense and it's really simple you're just using two products a few brushes and you're good to go and out the door so I just wanted to talk about um, the pencil that I'm using and this is the NYX um, Io eyebrow pencil and I'm using in the color dark brown these are actually really really great pencils and I got them super super cheap I got some other colors here and actually some of them I put in my kit which I absolutely love but these are really great cheap pencils um, they are retractable so you can roll them up there's no need to sharpen them at all they're really really great you get a brush on the side so you if you make a mistake you can kind of brush them and they last really all day I typically will set my brows with um, my brow sealer and they're good to go so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below if you guys try this technique I would love to see your videos so I hope you guys enjoy this and if you want to get brows like mine stay tuned okay so let's get started the first thing you want to use is one of these brow and lash combs to brush your lashes in the shape that you want them to lie So once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to use is a brow pencil. The brow pencil that I'm using today is actually the NYX Auto Pencil and it comes with a brush on one side and the actual brush application, I'm sorry, the pen application on the other side. And this here, the color is in dark brown. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually start at the base of the brow very lightly on this first part here. I'm just gonna kinda draw a guideline. Once I've kinda drawn that guideline, I'm going to continue to follow the shape of the brow, kinda lightly. And then once we get to the sparse area, I'm just gonna press down a little bit harder and then drag it as you can tell, my brows are really sparse here, so I actually have to create an outer wing area. So I'm going to pick up that pencil again. We're going to go right at the top, very lightly, using this as a guideline. Continuing, continuing. And once I get to about the arch, I'm going to press a little bit harder, bring it down, and then connect it. And what I'm going to do is actually fill in this open area all with this one pencil. Now the key to making this look more natural is that you want to do feather-like strokes. I know it looks a hot mess, but don't worry. It's gonna look good afterwards. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take that same pencil, but I'm actually gonna press down just a little bit harder just to create an outer tail here of the brow. And once again, I'm just following the natural shape of my brow. And now it's important to know how far your tail should go, is that you wanna line up this on the outside tip of your eye. Your tail should never go any further than that. So it's a trick to do this as you line just something straight against your nose, the outer part of your eye, and then right where it hits is where your tail should end. So now I'm gonna continue with my filling in my brows. On this part here, you just wanna go with a very, very light hand go back to that little brush and lash comb. I'm just gonna take this just to kind of brush everything out and make it look a little more natural. Also, if you happen to have a spoolie brush like this one, this one's actually from, um, I believe it's Anastasia Brow. You can take this and just kind of brush to make it look a little bit more natural.
just like that. So that's the filling in process. And the next thing we're going to do is actually use concealer to kind of clean up the brow. So the concealer that I like to use is actually this concealer here. This is Sephora Perfecting Cover Concealer that I got from Sephora. I believe it's number 40 tan. So it can be a little bit orange, so sometimes I do mix this with concealer, but I'm just using this particular concealer for today's event. And then I'm also going to be using this comb here. This is just an angled, an angled brush. And it's a synthetic one. I like, you can use one with real hair. I think this is real hair. This is a Sony Kashuk one. You want one that's a little bit stiff so that your hairs of the brush won't go flying all over the place. So the next thing you're gonna do is just pick up a little bit of concealer. I always say start with a little and then build up. It's easier to build up than to take away. So you're gonna pick up some of your concealer, pull into your brush, and starting right where we place that color, but right underneath, we're just gonna kind of in small strokes create a line. And if you need to pick up some more concealer, you can do that as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue that over to the arch. And I'm starting in small sections. This is just to help me not make mistakes. And then I'm gonna continue out to the tail. And then what I do is take that same concealer brush and then whatever excess I have is I'm going to Pull that line down just so that it'll be able to blend a little bit better. Now once you've done that, all you're going to do is just take your finger and just kind of rub it in just to blend it in. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is actually pick up a little bit more concealer, not as much as I did before. And on this outer wing part here, or outer tail, I'm just gonna take this and slightly pull in, creating a more defined tail. Same thing, you wanna just take your brush, flick it out, pull it over, and then take your finger and just Now the last thing I do is I'm actually gonna take an E25 from Sigma and actually use this just to blend out my eye, or that concealer. I feel that this actually makes it a little bit more natural looking, especially if you're not going for a strong highlight or anything like that. 